So in this lecture we talk about subcomplexes. So that is we talk about a subcomplex of a cell complex X and uh, this subcomplex is nothing but a closed subspace of X and it is made up of union of cells of X. So let us write this down. So subcomplex of a cell complex X, X is a closed subspace A which is contained in X and is a union of cells of X. Yeah, this you can find in Hatcher on page 7. So I have taken this directly from there. So there are two remarks. The first remark is that A is closed. And here I am going to talk about the characteristic map of each cell in A. So A is closed and uh, the characteristic map of each cell in A has image contained in A. Now why is that? We have seen before that the characteristic map is nothing but a homeomorphism from the interior of the disk to the corresponding cell. Now because of this homeomorphism, we have that the characteristic map of each cell in A has image contained in A. Now why are we talking about the characteristic map? We are talking about the characteristic map because Attaching map is just a small part of the characteristic map. Now, we want that the attaching map of each cell in A is also contained in A, which will follow because of 1, since characteristic map of each cell in A has image contained in A, therefore, we have this in particular. The image of attaching map of each cell in A is contained in A precisely because of number one the characteristic map uh, is a homeomorphism from the interior of the disk to the end cell and we have seen in the construction of characteristic map that attaching map is just part of it but why do we need that we need that because this attaching map then makes A into a subcomplex so A is a complex in its a CW complex in its own right, that is you can define A without referring to X as a CW complex in itself. So this is important. A is a subcomplex of X but it, it is also a complex in its own right. So let us just mark this in blue. So what we get is x comma a. Now this is a pair, a CW pair. Now let us talk about some examples. The first example is of RPK contained in RPN. Obviously K is less than or equal to N. This is very simple structure. You have one cell in every dimension E0 all the way to EK k is less than or equal to n obviously and e0 all the way to en you can see the natural inclusions similar thing in cpk 
complex projective in CPN. Now I want to make a very important remark here and before that let us see this. So you know that S0 which is just a point is contained in S1 the circle. Similar, similarly the circle is contained in a sphere on the equator. So S0 is contained in S1, S1 is contained in S2 as an equator of the sphere and S2 is the equator of S3 and so on. Now we will see that these natural inclusions do not necessarily correspond to CW pairs. So above we construct, constructed CW pairs. Here S1 comma S0 is not a CW pair. Why is that so? So let us see with an example. Yeah, we will construct S3 and S2 and show that S2 does not belong to S3. Although we have seen that S2 is a is an equator of S3 just like S1 is an equator of S2. So what is it? Because standard structure of S3 consists of just two cells. One is the zero cell and the other is the one three cell and S2 consists of E0 and E2 and you can clearly see S2 is not contained in S3. Now this is very counter to our intu intuition. So what should we do? The idea is simple. Now we need to construct a different CW complex so that we can have this chain of inclusion. So in particular note that I am talking about a different CW complex which will satisfy the chain of inclusion. So we can see that for a simple structure like sphere we can have two different CW complexes. One complex in which we will not have this pair x comma a that is s1 comma s0 or s2 comma s1 and the other we will have such a pair. So let me write this down and in the next, next part of the lecture we will talk about this.